Now I'm going to show you native apps, the apps which uh, come with uh, HP's tablet. So first you click on this menu icon. When you're inside the menu, um, click on apps. Now, of course, the basic app is web, email, calendar, messaging, memos. Uh, it comes with Office, uh, Adobe Reader for PDF reading. For books, it has Kindle. Uh, Facebook, it comes with it. Now, even though it comes with it, you have to down, you have to go and uh, download it officially uh, from the store. But uh, yeah, I mean, it will come with this uh, apps. Once you click on it first time, it's going to take you to the web store, and you have to download it from there. So first, I'm going to show you photos and videos app. This is really nice. Uh, it ing integrates everything from your Facebook uh, to local pictures you have in your uh, tablet, um, everything, and even the videos too. So I'm going to show you a demo of a video. As you see, it's my Facebook accounts I have, profile pictures, everything. Um, even from my Gmail account, it's uh, it's taking some pictures. So. I have a here uh, Terminator, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to show you a little clip in the beginning. Uh, you have to convert the video, it's not going to play straight through, but you can play MP4 format uh, in this one. And as you see, it's, uh, it's uh, much clearer. Um, second I'm gonna app I'm gonna show you is a music app um, now in order to add uh, photos videos or music all you have to do is hook up your uh, uh, tablet using a USB port put it in your uh, Mac or PC and it will run as a USB uh, like a flash drive or external hard drive uh, you go ahead and make a folder um, there be the name of video whatever uh, folder you, you like you know just like uh, you make a regular folder in your hard drive make a folder on uh, onto a tablet uh, it's going to show you as a USB drive so make a folder of a video or audio whatever you like and just put the uh, files in there uh, like mp3s or pictures or videos now with video they have a certain uh, supported format you cannot, you cannot just uh, copy and paste you have to convert and resize your video to the size of uh, uh, the screen so once you do that once you paste it um, just eject the drive and it's going to auto detect uh, whatever media you copied to the tablet so it's really nice and simple you don't need any iTunes you don't need any software it's really great so for music I'm going to launch the music app now I have one song here I'm going to play it you can manage your albums, uh, artists, everything here and of course uh, loop playing and. Uh, uh, it has uh, it has a uh, different options here. Now I'm going to talk about uh, phone and uh, video calls. Uh, uh, this uh, this app uh, will allow you to uh, talk using uh, if you have a HP's WebOS phone, you can uh, talk through that phone using this tablet. But I don't have it, so I'm just going to uh, describe it to you. But yes, if you have a Skype account, you can use that to make calls through your tablet. Which is which is really great, and uh, now uh, we're gonna talk talk about maps. Uh, you just uh, tap on the map icon. It's gonna bring you to maps. Now this is uh, maps powered by Bing. Um, it uh, um, there is a place where you can search um, search any address. Uh, that button is for uh, directions. Uh, from current location to wherever you want to go or vice versa you can uh, move that flip button uh, using it that flip button and uh, uh, there is a uh, this is uh, of to choose options if you want to see the road view if you want to see satellite hybrid view bird's eye view so the uh, that is to locate yourself and the next one is for uh, to bookmark any location now HP HP tablet comes uh, with a uh, flash enabled browser so you can if you prefer Google Maps you can just uh, go to maps.google.com and uh, view your Google map this tablet Wi-Fi tablet does not come with the GPS chip it's using uh, your uh, internet to locate you so if you use your cell phones so Wi-Fi hotspot it can use your cell phones GPS and can locate you I'm going to 
show you their email app. To begin with, you have to go to settings and you have to go to accounts and follow the instructions to add your email account. Once you have it set up, you click on this little email icon. And there you go. Um, here I just have one account for now, but you can add multiple accounts here. Now if you want to add more account or you want to add a sound or uh, you know you want to choose, choose the preferences of your email, you go here, preferences and accounts, and then you see um, the options here. Now I'm going to go to my email account and I'm going to change the settings here. So the signature you can change right here. Uh, email what kind of a notification you want you go here alert and then you can also choose ringtone you can select ringtone by clicking on here it's going to give you options and I'm choose any of the short ones this is a good one so choose this and it's showing me right here now these are the few bugs it has. Obviously, system is, I mean operating system is really new, so you have some bugs. But anyway, so uh, when you're done, you just scroll down all the way to the end. You click done. If you want to remove account, you can remove account. Click on done. For email application, the most important part is the uh, bottom section of email account. I mean email app. So on the there are three sections. On the right, um, there is a section where you're gonna read your email body. This is where you're gonna see all your emails, and that's where you're gonna see all your email accounts. Now, um, in here there are several options. You can uh, that one's for the reply. Uh, that's for forward. And that's to delete, and uh, that is to send a BCC or a CC. Now this tab here is to adjust, uh, if, let's say if you want to read your email body in a full screen. So what you do is you drag it to left, you leave it like that and that's where you are. You can read the whole, just, just one email you can read on an entire screen. Now if you want to go back, you drag it to left and uh, um, that's how it is. Now the calendar app, you click on a calendar. Um, icon right here now here it shows you like a day um, day planner so this is a day planner tab this is a week and uh, that's month so if you want to add an event just go and a new event and you can name the event location um, you can add date time and you can set alerts if you want to write down what it's for additional notes and uh, yeah that's uh, that's like a regular calendar and you can also go to a specific date by clicking on a jump to here now with the quick office app it's uh, I mean it's free and that's that's great uh, I think in app store it's uh, five six dollars so it can open your uh, documents from Google, it can open documents uh, in your tablet, um, you can read it in PDF for text files, XLS files, documents. This is going to open in a uh, auto reader. As you see this is a PDF file and uh, you can read it. And it has a dual core processor so it loads really fast. So I think it's uh, it's good. I think we're gonna also load it uh, from the website. Okay, so here I am on uh, MTA Info. It's a New York City Transit website. <coughs> so I um, mean iOS, uh, they uh, special designed a web page for I, uh, iPhone and iPad users. And uh, now I'm gonna click on the map. So it's going to start downloading right there. So it's just uh, simple as you uh, as you do it in your uh, PC or Mac. And just one click download, it saves on your hard drive. You click on it 
and it opens up in uh, Adobe PDF. It's uh, uh, you can download anything, um, all the PDF documents. You can even copy them. Now this map is not that uh, it it is loading, but uh, it's not that uh, fine quality. Uh, if you want, yeah, possibly download high resolution map from somewhere else. You can copy any file onto this tablet and uh, like audio, video, um, documents, uh, PDF, anything. Just uh, copy and paste, uh, connect it with the USB to your computer, copy paste all the files, your tablet is going to detect it. You go to each app, it's going to recognize the content and you can uh, uh, play, read it right away. This is a great tablet. Uh, if you want to know more about it, visit my channel. I have a few videos about it. Thanks for watching.